guys welcome back to fourth and troll fantasy let's jump into a waiver wire here some guys to talk about and it's a, a almost a lighter week i would almost say on the waiver wire because it's hard to look at who popped off that's available and it was like no one because everyone that was supposed to pop off did so there you go there's that yeah um but we got some fun fun names here four guys wes you have two guys i got two go for it so with the Jacksonville Jaguars wide receivers that we mentioned at the top of the show, Christian Kirk done all for the them, year. By the way, that was all of them. All of them. All are, of them. Um, <laughs> in case you missed that yes. part, the Jacksonville Jaguars <laughs> wide receivers we mentioned is asterisks at the bottom of your page. Everyone. All of them. Yeah, there you go. Everyone. All right. Yeah. So there's that. And then Brian Thomas Jr., day-to-day, week-to-week. We have no idea what any of those words mean from Doug Peterson. But the waiver wire ad for me – out of Jacksonville is Parker Washington. Okay. And yeah. Gabe Davis. Sure. He's had uh, some nice games with Buffalo over the years. Um, of course, that great 13 second uh, divisional round, he had four touchdowns on with Josh Allen. So yeah, there's some deep threat potential, but truly it's going to be Parker Washington. Why? Because just like I read from Cedric Tillman out of uh, the Browns camp, And why I said he was the waiver wire last week, that's exactly what I'm reading from Parker Washington from the Jaguars camp this offseason. And sure, Christian Kirk and Evan Ingram were having fantastic offseasons, and uh, Kirk hasn't really had a great season uh, before this injury. But if you're going to get a guy and you need someone that's going to potentially step up as a wide receiver too, Parker Washington is a great option. Keep him on your bench, see what happens, and let's just see if maybe he can end up being a flex option. And on that same notion... Keep an eye out for the potential number one wide receiver in Carolina. That's going to be Xavier Leggett. He's my next waiver wire ad. Adam Thielen could be someone you go target as well coming off his hamstring injury. uh, Maybe this week, maybe the week after that. But Leggett has proven that he can score touchdowns from both Andy Dalton and Bryce Young. And that is huge. Okay. Uh, Thielen has looked great in the couple of games that we did see him this season. Thielen, Thielen was like, top 10 for the first half of last year. So I'm going to go with Leggett. I'm going to go with the guy that Dave Canales drafted intentionally moved up in the first round to get with the expectation that Deontay Johnson is traded. So there are my two waiver wire ads going into week nine. Yeah, I like them both. I'm, I'm For what it's worth, I'm hearing a little bit of rumors that Phelan might get shipped out too. They might see what they can get for him really? just for that that for that old man with a, an insane contract. Oh my age. god! Well, I hope That's I got hearing, Mingo so. in a dynasty league, and I like god. Mingo. So we gotta hope Mingo comes back to life. Is Jeez. what we're hoping for here. Uh, I got two guys here for you. Um, two rookies. Uh, we're, we're we're big on the rookies here. I know Parker Washington's the second year, but two rookies yeah. to talk about. Uh, it's the first one is maybe pretty obvious here, and it's Tyrone Tracy Jr. Uh, listen, but he's only 64% rostered across sleeper leagues, which is far too low. He's fully taken over that backfield. And now I understand it's a short week. He's probably going to miss with a concussion. I don't know if you've taken a look at the running backs on your waiver wire lately. They're dog shit. There's no one. There's <laughs> there's no – because everyone wants a running back. So if, if Tyrone Tracy Jr. is out there and available in your leagues – you need it. I would spend up on a bit of fab here. He's he's taken over the backfield, fifty seven percent snap share, uh, and that was even with him missing their last two drives. Uh, Singletary t- took like ten or twelve snaps at the end of the game that probably would have been uh, Tyron Tracy Jr.'s. So, uh, but he's had twenty plus opportunities in three of his last four games. He's got great PPR upside. He's the RB seven in week eight. Uh, thanks to that awesome 45 yard touchdown run. Uh, yeah. He's a, he's a great option out there and, and it's hard to find running backs and it's the second half of the year. And usually that's when we see rookies start to blossom a little bit more. So definitely keep him in mind along with this next guy. If you need a quarterback, Bo Nix, dude, he's legit. <laughs> like he, he had a slow start, understandable as a rookie quarterback but he's had over 24 fantasy points in three of his last four games. He's the QB two in week eight. He's awesome. He looked great. Wow. He's finding his stride here with these wide receivers. His first three touchdown game, three passing touchdown game in the NFL. 
four total touchdowns, which leads me to talk about his rushing ability. He's on pace for 550 rushing yards and eight touchdowns. That's more than Kyler Murray's second and third best seasons of rushing production. And we think about Kyler as this rushing threat. That's more yards and touchdowns than not his best. Kyler had like an 11 rushing touchdown season, with like 700 rushing yards, something like that. But his second and third best seasons for rushing production, which is what we value in fantasy football and what makes Kyler a good option, Bo Nix is on pace to beat both of those. Like, it, this guy is legit. He gets the Baltimore Ravens this upcoming week. If you're in need of a quarterback, I know of a guy who just came uh, who just who just came off of uh, his first start this season for the Browns, uh, throwing to some young receivers and uh, and balled out. A to W, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> so Bo Nix, I think, is a is a great option, and he's got a bit of a tougher schedule going forward after that, but. If he keeps on proving himself and he has his rushing upside, he, he may be worth a, worth a play in the future as well. But definitely a good spot start for for week nine if you're in need. There you go. Waiver wire. Go. Waiver wire. <laughs> Waiver wire. Enjoy. Time to move that, on to the next that segment. Been my wow. best attempt ever. Uh, that probably was. That probably, probably was because I didn't Christopher do the Walken setup impression. of it ever. So there you yeah. Go. Uh, <laughs> 